Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using cross-section mode in space claim. So at the very beginning of uh, this tutorial series, you know, I showed you, you know, we could switch between the sketch plane and 3D mode. Uh, however, I didn't really talk about this middle option, which is section mode, uh, which can also be switched to by hitting X on the keyboard. So if I click on that, uh, you'll notice it's very similar. Uh, we get a very similar interface to when we click on the sketch mode option. Uh, and it does bear some similarities to sketch mode, but there are also some important differences, which I will get into in a moment. Um, but just like in, uh, you know, in sketch mode, I'll click on, you know, a plane that I want to, you know, the, the plane that I want, which happens to be, you know, um, along where this face is. So I'm just going to click on that face. And now you'll notice uh, that this sort of front face of the model turned into this sort of this uh, diagonal pattern here, indicating that uh, we are in cross-section mode. Not very useful as a cross-section. I, I could make use of it, but uh, oftentimes with the cross-section, you know, the whole point is that we want to see a, a sort of a slice through the model. So, for example, maybe I want to see a slice that's going through, you know, this hole here. You know, I rotate, you'll see these two holes. So I want to see sort of what it look, what the model looks like as it's going through, because maybe I want to make sure that, you know, this wall isn't too thin uh, or something like that. And just like with uh, sketch mode, you know, I'll click on the move grid tool and then I can click on the blue arrow and uh, move my grid down. You'll notice as I start to intersect those holes, uh, you'll start to see that cross section. So I can move it to wherever I want and let go. Um, but I know I, I, I want it to be exactly sort of halfway through that cylinder. Uh, where, where sort of the, the cylinders at maximum is maximum width. Uh, so an easier, uh, more precise way to do that is to just click on our arrow again, click on up to, and then when we hover over uh, this axis, I'm just going to click on that axis and it's going to move the grid back to that axis. So now we have a nice, um, a nice cross section. Uh, however, oftentimes in a cross-section view, you know, we want to see it uh, sort of in 2D. We want to see it sort of head on. So I'm going to click on plan view just like I would with uh, sketch mode. And so now we have, uh, we can see our model head on. Now here is where the differences uh, between cross-section and sketch mode begin to uh, begin to become apparent. Uh, so I'm going to click on my pull tool here. Uh, now the thing to remember about uh, the cross-section mode is any changes you make. So for example, if I select this line here, what I'm, if I pull on this, I'm not just pulling that line. I'm actually pulling the entire surface uh, that, you, that you can't see because it's... Uh, because we're in 2D mode. Uh, but if I, you know, if I rotate my view here, you can see uh, that it has in fact selected that entire surface. Uh, so any changes you make, um, you know, if you, if you make a change to, you know, a line, remember that you're actually changing a two-dimensional surface, not just a one-dimensional line. Same goes with 3D objects. If I change the size of it, so for example, if I click on the side of this hole, and I know I want to make it, maybe I, I know that I want to make it the same size as this hole. Uh, if I pull on this, uh, it's going to actually uh, uh, change the radius of that hole in 3D. So, for example, I know that I want it to be I want it to be 2.5. So I'm going to type in 2.5. Again, the, the editing, all that, all the tools that you're familiar with in 3D uh, work for the most part in cross section mode. So now I have. I know that those holes are the same size. And again, if I go into uh, into 3D mode and I rotate, you can see that it has, in fact, made uh, that 3D change. I'm just going to back up here. Um, accidentally undid the size change there. Uh, but uh, so, you know, you can make uh, a number of changes uh, to the model now in this cross-section cross mode. So sometimes it's easier for editing a... You know, editing a model if you can do it uh, directly from this sort of 3D view, or sorry, 2D view. Uh, so for example, I can change the size of that round. Uh, I can do things like uh, if I if I select that point, which is in fact an edge. Again, remembering that you know in because we're in 
a 2D view or selecting 3D objects, a, one, a zero dimensional point is in fact a one dimensional edge. So now, you know, when I pull on that, I can add a round or I can add a chamfer. Again, you know, um, I have those the same options I have in 3D. So maybe I want that to be a chamfer. I can change that. I can move sides in and out. Uh, again, it, be, it behaves very similarly to 3D mode. Uh, so I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching.